Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about a brand new crypto project and NFT marketplace called Wii U. I hope you guys are ready for this. I've worked pretty hard on preparing this information for you guys. Um, so we will jump right on into the video. But first, if you love cryptocurrency, I've said it before, you are not in the wrong place, guys. Go ahead and come on over and join the community here on YouTube at Average Joe Crypto by smashing that subscribe button if you're new and help out by smashing that like button. Helps out a ton. I appreciate the support very, very much. And let's dive right on in to the video. Wii U, the only NFT platform you'll ever need. Let's just start by taking a look at some key information regarding the Wii U platform and the Wii U token. Stick around for the whole video so you don't miss out on any of this awesome information. Introducing Wii U, an introduction to the Wii U ecosystem, NFT, marketplace, and token. The first true multi-blockchain NFT platform. Multi-chain NFT platform. So regardless of which blockchain NFTs you wish to interact with, Wii U has the wallet integration and full featured marketplace for your needs. Core technology of the platform is built on the highly scalable Solana blockchain. When Wii U launches their platform, they will have wallet integrations of Solana, the Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Cardano, and Polygon. User experience and ease of use for new NFT consumers. So as far as we use user experience goes, it is committed to building the most accessible NFT marketplace with a modern user interface. Accessibility features like multiple payment options in both crypto and traditional methods, multilingual N6 languages at launch, and again accessible from many of the top blockchains. And Wii U is all about onboarding the average internet user and all about customer experience. The Wii U token. The Wii U token versus refinable in games. By the way, Wii U is available now. If we look at refinable, refinable did a hundred X for their NFT platform token. So the potential for Wii U is very similar, except that the tokenomics and use case for Wii U are far better. Compared to other NFT platforms, Wii U has the most extensive tokenomics compared to the rest. Wii U token potential. If you look at what refinable did at launch, which went a hundred X, Wii U should be able to do some wonders at launch as well. And by the way, like I said, it is launching on PancakeSwap, so get ready now. And some more things you should know about the Wii U token. The Wii U token should be held or hodled due to the fact that it incurs a fee on transfer. 4% is taken out of every single trade. This 4% is distributed in three ways. The most important is 25% of the fee goes back to the holders. This is constant and this happens automatically. You will see it growing in your wallet every day. 50% goes to creating additional liquidity and the remaining 25% from the fees is burned automatically. This is why it is called the Wii U Rewards Token. In October, they will come out with the Wii U Platform Token that will not have any fees attached to it. And things you need to know about the Wii U Token continued. The Wii U token is not a suitable token for DeFi or liquidity pools. If you add liquidity to Wii U on PancakeSwap, you will lose your rewards. PancakeSwap pays out 0.3% fees on transactions, but holding Wii U gives you 1%. So you do not want to do anything other than just hodl the Wii U. So you can see here, they have a timeline for the month of August. And you can see that August 31st is the Wii U public sale and listing on PancakeSwap. Wii U is specifically built to onboard new users and accelerate the adoption of the NFT revolution. Partial proceeds from every transaction on the Wii U platform will go to help one of five United Nations initiatives for refugees. Wii U is also a multi-blockchain platform. It will be launching with Solana and the Binance Smart Chain integrations and is quickly followed by Polygon, Cardano, Ethereum, Polkadot, Elrond, and others. Easily connect any wallet or multiple wallets to the Wii U platform. It is designed specifically for the NFT resale market, as the tokenization of items such as collectibles, art, music, content, property, and everything in between becomes the norm, Wii U believes that the mass adoption tipping point will come from simple to use platforms that cater to the average internet user. And you can see over here they have some key metrics listed, initial circulating supply, 600 million Wii U tokens, initial market cap, 4.2 million, Fully diluted market cap, 35 million. And then you can see down here, they have token 
economics listed, as well as a comparison chart here. You can see the total supply of the Wii U token will be 5 billion tokens. And you can see here how some of these tokens will be distributed. And we can see over here on this comparison chart how the Wii U marketplace compares to other NFT marketplaces such as OpenSea, Refinable, NBA Top Shot, and Nifty Gateway. You can see here some information regarding how it compares as far as low network fees, multiple blockchains, automatic rewards, automatic burns plus liquidity, multiple categories, staking, and DAO. You can see that Wii U is confirmed to provide all of these. And you can see that it outperforms when compared to these other NFT marketplaces and platforms. And you can see here they have the Wii U roadmap for the year of 2021 as well as for 2022. You can check out Wii U on any of these social media platforms. I will leave links in the description so that you have easy access to all of this information. So there are some issues regarding NFT marketplaces and ecosystems. You can see here they have listed some issues, uh, common issues for both buyers and sellers on many of these uh, NFT ecosystems. You can see that poor user interface and experience, poor customer support, NFT marketplaces are also confusing, non-transparent fee structures, lack of transparency of fees, limited payment methods. And as NFTs gain popularity and growth, complexity for the average consumer has been increasing. So what are some solutions? Well, the multi-blockchain and multi-token functionality of the Wii U platform will be one of the main solutions for some of these problems and will also be the key to market penetration and market share. Also, embedded token fees. A token embedded fee is a fee that is incurred by any buyer or seller of the token. The most intriguing aspect of this feature is the percentage of the fee and what the fee is ultimately used for. And guys, I'll also leave links in the description to the Wii U website, which is just wiiu.io, so you guys can come check out the website for yourselves if you'd like to dive a little deeper. And another key feature of the Wii U platform that I find very interesting is they are partnered with the United Nations. So with every purchase of a pack and every sale on the Wii U marketplace will be a fee collected that goes directly to specific initiatives of the United Nations. Each NFT will have one of five initiatives directly correlated to the NFT itself. So you collect your favorite influencer NFTs and support one of the five United Nations initiatives for social good shelter, food, water, clothing, healthcare, education, and training. So this is all very interesting and it's a way to give back and help support others around the world. You can also come over to Twitter and follow We Use Twitter page at We U Official. And some bonus features. The We U team will be at the Web Summit in Libsyn on November 1st. And also virtual reality and augmented reality will be an exciting feature of the We U platform. Also, they are partnered with the United Nations. And you can buy now on PancakeSwap. I will leave links in the description for all of this information. Also guys, go ahead and follow all of their social media accounts. Links will be in the description.